Have you been seeing more advertising recently selling you Malaysia property and the prospects of how good buying Malaysia property is? If you are, you need to be careful and you need to remember two things. Number one, if the property is so good, you're not going to see it in Singapore. The Malaysians would have bought it already, guys. Right? So whatever that you see in Singapore today are essentially leftover product. So not to say you can't buy leftover units from developer or agents who are marketing this in Singapore, but you make sure that you buy cheapest, you buy at the highest possible discount. Point number two here is that majority of people in Singapore who buy Malaysia property actually do not make money. Despite the fact Malaysia property outperformed Singapore in the last 10, 20 years as per this chart, majority of the people that you know of actually lost money buying property in Malaysia. And the reason why they lost money is because of sheep. So please make sure you understand what sheep means and how to avoid the pitfall of buying bad properties that will lose money. I've provided the guideline for free. You can just click on the link below to go and watch the video. If you are seeing a lot of ads marketing Malaysia property recently, okay, just be mindful of two things. Number one, you know, most of these properties are leftover units and there's nothing wrong about buying leftover provided you have a significant discount and you can buy it cheaper compared to even most locals. All right, so that's number one. Number two, make sure you understand the sheep pitfall, what I've shared, because the moment you use that, it's almost impossible for you to purchase the wrong property in Malaysia. I wish you all the best. Avoid being the 99% of people who are from Singapore, bought property in Malaysia and lost money. You need to be the 1%.